It's important to know that uh, this mission is really uh, has a purpose of setting us up for the day when we'll go to Mars and do the life detection experiments. Uh, it turns out those are pretty hard to do, and you actually need to know a lot about Mars to understand where to go to do those experiments. Uh, so the goal of this, as Doug mentioned, is to look for habitable environments on Mars. These would be environments that are capable of supporting life. We inject on, on the Centaur upper stage, and we are kicked off on the cruise trajectory. It takes eight and a half months for us to get to Mars. We are a slow spinner uh, and, uh, and that traverse. Uh, we arrive at Mars doing about 12,000 miles an hour. We kick off the cruise stage and we enter the atmosphere. You can see the, uh, the thrusting of thrusters that we use to do the precision landing that both Doug uh, indicated and Ashwin showed the landing ellipse. At 2,000 miles an hour, I mean, excuse me, Mach 2, about 1,000 miles an hour, we kick out the parachute drop off the heat shield at about 10 kilometers high, and then about two kilometers high, we drop off the descent stage and propulsively lower ourselves toward the planet. When we're a couple hundred meters off the ground, we actually lower the rover on what's called the sky crane uh, and, uh, and cut the bridle, and then the uh, descent stage flies away, and we have the rover sitting on its six wheels on the surface. It's not your father's rover. This is a 2,000 pound a uh, machine that's over six feet tall. It's uh, truly, as Dwayne said, the largest and most complex piece of equipment ever placed on the surface of another planet.